Magic is not about winning, but rather it's about defecating on our opponent's hopes and dreams, thanks to the new card Defecation. When we defecate, we choose a Planeswalker type to get a Hexproof to, and as long as we control a creature, if one of those Planeswalkers will go to Jesus, it instead survives at one loyalty. Name Gideon, play Gideon in the Trials, and immediately make an emblem. As long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponent can't win the game. Is this not crazy? I mean, it's a hard lock. Its only weakness is that we need to have a creature, but we have Ronus, with Death Touch and Indestructible, working perfectly with Gideons, because the Gideons can animate, and beat down for four, or even more, and even if the Gideons go to one loyalty, animating them doesn't cost anything, hence the defecation. But if Ronus is not enough, we have something heritage with Hexproof, Heart of Kieran that can animate at insta speed, and even Muta Vault, and even if we can't draw defecation, we can just dig for it with a cleric, and because we have so many big bodies, we have a Seeker Chariot to make creature tokens and copy them. To help dig for Gideons, we have both Anissa, also making the Gideons easier to cast, and ever sideboard. We have Combo Hate, Weenie Hate, Graveyard Hate, Targeting Hate, Counter Hate, Artifact Enchantment Hate, and Activated Ability Hate. That is the deck, now it's time to defecate on post hopes and dreams. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And without further ado, here's the gameplay and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand's not terrible. No turn to Gideon. But we can defecate, so we'll keep. Start with Mystic. Oh, and Fatal Push. That's fine. We'll play Defecation. What's wrong about that? The problem is Harvester. And we'll play Gideon. Preventing Harvester damage. Oh, they're a sack deck. They sack the blood token. They drain us for one. And they get a creature token. More land for us. Big Gideon time. Make a token. Prevent damage from Harvester. Epic here? Sure. So they could sack Harvester now. They take out our token and oh, another anvil. They're about to get a meat wall. And no, they just sack the token. That's bizarre. It's got clay. That's good. We'll play it. Exile one anvil. Play Mystic. Make a token. Make our emblem. And this looks like a hard lock to me. But our opponent bravely stays in it. Oh, wait. Never mind. They concede. Who can blame them? Going into game two. Let's bring in those for this. Ask game two. Opening answer is all right. We'll keep. Oh, Hossies. Taking our Ronus. How dare they? Another land. We'll start with Mystic. And what? Another Thoughtseize? Oh, no. They took our Lanoar. Daddy's devastated. No, we lose our Mana Dork. Here's all Gideon. If only they had another thought seize. Nope, there's an anvil. Gideon time. Making our emblem. They sack their anvil. Making one token. Opponent passes. Parish hit, not bad. We'll first dig with Naughty Nissa. Finding Big Gideon. We'll attack with Little Gideon. Will our opponent chomp? No. We'll put out Parry's head. Oh, but Mayhem Devil. When they sack a permanent, they can ping any target. Shoot and duress. And without defecation, they can target our Gideon. That's so racist. And that's even more racist. All right. We're damage from the devil for a turn. Play me all and pass. Upon the table. Do we just Sage you it. Probably, yeah. Lanoir. Run damage from Mayhem. Play Lanoir and pass. Another table. Jeez. Opponent swings up their token. Animate Muta Vault. And trade. And what? They sack their token? But we prevent a damage for a turn. Oopsie poopsies for them. Oh, what a land. It's not good. Run damage from the devil. And we'll have to pass. If only we had defecation here, we wouldn't be so pressed. A second Mayhem Devil. Opponent sacks the draw. We lose Lanoir. And they could kill Gideon here. They sure do. And yep, opponent has us. Same with here it is. Opening hand as long as we don't get discarded. Is dummy fix or run a keep? We'll start with Lanoir. Fail push, okay. Big Gideon. We'll defecate and pass. Oh, but thought sees. We'll lose one Gideon and keep the big one. Upon place pushes up in the sack. Ew, and a land. We'll animate Eat and Swing. Play our land and pass. Harvests are good. Which means it's time for Gideon. We'll make our token to pass. Upon it sacks the blood to draw. Oh, fatal push. So Gideon's not protected. So luckily it survives at one. That was a close call. And now we have Ronus. Make a token. Play Ronus. How will they beat Ronus? Upon place table. And now it's back to us. Kieran will take it. Anime Gideon. Play Skyclave. Tough call which to choose. But the oven could be pretty problematic. So we'll take that. And swing for 12. Opponent takes it. We'll play Kieran. And get a lock to our opponent. They play Epicure. Another one. And there's an seed. What an epic spanking to kick things off. And now it's on the next one. Opening hand is balls with mull. And slightly less balls. We'll heap. Opponent begins with mana confluence. And they consider a second mana confluence. Are they trying to commit seppuku? Oh, but they have tracks in graveyard. And otherworldly gaze. Another land. Play Kieran and pass. Opponent digs some more. Oh, and it's on a tracks in near form deck. How interesting. Run of time. Oh, with have removal. So we'll have to pass. They see Tassiger. And darn, there's Neo form. So they get a Traxa. We might be clapped here. Yeah. They probably have counter. So let's keep our deck a secret. And go to game two. Going in game two is when rest in peace and last game two. Opening hands terrible, mole. And yeah, this is keepable. Just pray for good top decks. One passes. Ronus, sure. Defecation. Then will pass. Oh, hot seas. Taking Ronus, huh? We'll go with the Claire. And find rest in peace. Oh, and opponent concedes. Rest in peace, that's off the deck. Now that they know we have it, we'll bring protection with Alice Game 3. Opening hand, one land. A sea rescue, a mole. And this is okay. We'll keep. Kieran, not bad. Opponent considers. Opponent passes. Oh, and Gideon. I wonder if they have counter. We'll take that risk. Darn it, they have counter. But better that than Big Gideon. Opponent digs. And plays hasty T. Defecation, okay. Those so are tapped out. We'll go for Gideon. Make a token, but if they have removal, they can take out Gideon, or even worse, they have Neoform. This one, Gideon. We'll 
Bill's home. And he puts your CJ in hand. The vacation time. Kieran. Hold the counter. Well, like a token to pass. All thought sees. Taking Ronus. Takes something to Gideon. But thanks for the vacation. We'll say no blocks. And oh, oh shoot. They have a abrupt decay, so we will lose Gideon. That's for not a stinky. Rest in peace. Better late than never. Manoir. And swing for three. Now pray for the top decks. The phone digs. But it's not so great without a graveyard. They don't pull three. The phone passes. Cleric, that's a tough one. We could find another defecation. The new form's the biggest threat here. So we'll play Cleric. But we'll won't search. Phone passes. Darn it, man and dork. We'll play it and pass. A phone passes. Oh, perfect. Play Gideon. It's tempting to emblem here and swing out. That might be our best shot of winning. But if we don't emblem, we could instead animate Gideon next turn. All right, we'll swing a token and pray no neoform. Uh oh. GCJ, okay. Inherited will take it. Enemy Gideon and swing out. They chunk Gideon and go to two. It's now or never for opponent. Oh, they're hard casting a track, so aren't they? Why is everything so difficult? Putting five cards in hand, including Sober Denial. That's unfortunate. Oh, what a ganjo. That could be most interesting. Daddy has a plan. Ultimate Gideon and swing out. One of Tomps and check out the sexiness. We could deal four damage to Traxa, but even better, four damage to our creature. So no life link for them, which means victory is ours. What a lucky top deck, but we'll take it. And now it's on the next match. Opening hand, one land I think we should mull. Oh gosh, this is pretty bad too. But we'll keep it. We'll play Lanawar and pass. Another land. We're on a time. Back to opponent. Oh, so it's Rakdos. And <laughs> they try to thought sees where hand is ball. So oh, Gideon perfect. Play Gideon. Ronus can attack now. Give Ronus lifelink. And it's paying for six. What shall opponent do about that? <laughs> Fable. And another Gideon. Play it. For run damage from the token. And mate. Lifelink can swing out. Oh shoot. No, it didn't click it. No. Darn it. Gideon should have attacked there. Oh. No matter. They will not escape the cheek clapping. Children for them. But tragically for opponent. Make Gideon a creature. The spider must click. There's a concede. Scoring games was running this for the two. Opening hand certainly not bad. We'll keep. We draw thicket. That's good. Play a second pass. Oh, the Treadmore. They didn't want to save that for our Planeswalker. Not that they could, because it's time to defecate. Have you also upon his Harvester? Get in for us. For any damage from Harvester. What shall our pawn do now? Shadow. What? They're attacking? Maybe they're illiterate. And at this point, we might have the hard lock. Ultimate Gideon. Play Ronus. Opponent swings with Gideon. Good for them. But Gideon survives. That's the power of defecation. Another Gideon for us. Play it. Nut for nine. And our opponent better start praying. Opponent discards a draw. Discarding ritual set. How cute. Opponent swings at our Gideon's again. In. All right, they survive at one. Time to clap. Swing, and victory is ours. What a salad tossing. Now it's on the next one. Opening hand, no lands for a mole. I suppose this could work. We'll keep. We'll dig with Nissa. Finding Gideon perfect. A pump is attached Triome, but we'll defecate. They dig with Bitter Union. Discarding a land. But tragically for opponents, play Gideon. They are emblem, and they might be screwed. Although they're probably enigmatic fires, which has Lightland Binding. The pump digs for basic, and they pass. Another Gideon. Play the Gideon. Make a creature, and we'll swing for four. But it's turn four is where they can pop off. Off. Oh, never mind. They dig for an enchantment, finding animatic. We saw some sacrifice of an enchantment and find a bigger creature from deck. Our opponent better clench and make Gideon and this Gideon. Where other Gideon can give Agilence. Some for nutload. Pwn blocks and go down to five. Oh, but Lightline Binding. Taking out our defecation. But how can they stop three Gideons? They play animatic. They sack. The Lightline Binding giving us back defecation. But they find their Titan. Gaining five life and making a rhino. Land meh. Animate our Gideons and our Muta Vault. We'll give the Muta Indestructible and swing out. And realizing that the clapped, our opponent concedes. Going into his friend, this for the second two. Opening hand is slow. So mole. Oh my gosh, it's like the same hand. Mole. And kind of the same hand, but we'll keep. This feels bad. We'll hold off on defecation because we really need to hold on to this Paseju. Corona's okay. We'll do it with Nissa. And we'll take a land. The home passes. Land. We'll have to send it back. Oh, Fable. Another Gideon. For now, let's play Ronus and pass back. Upon makes a treasure and plays another Fable. Okay. We'll play Black Blade and swing with Ronus. But we're really dirtling here. They try to draw. They flip their kiki. And swing get in for four. We could really use defecation here. They put Bora on hand to pass. This feels bad. So we'll save you the kiki. I'm a Gideon. I don't want a Lightline Binding. Taking out Ronus. I think our opponent probably has us here. So we'll go to game three. Going into game three, swinging some late game stuff. And without going three. Opening hand's pretty strong. We'll keep. Play Mystic and pass. Back to us. Land perfect. Play Gideon. Make our emblem and pass. Opponent makes for basic. Gideon man. Let's we'll save with Nessa. Finding another Gideon. Play Ronus. Get in for four. And it's back for opponents. Oh, but chain to the cox. Taking out Aronis. We draw Black Blade. Then we get in. Play Black Blade. And fist for five. Fabulous. Opponent tries and draws. And this be their big turn. Fires. Oh. They can play two free spells each turn. And they have Animatic on top. Land of War. We'll swing for eight. Opponent chomps. Interesting. We'll play Skyclave. Pick out their fires. Play another Land of War. And will Animatic be enough here? They try for it. A creature with mana value of three. Oh, Skyclave. Taking out our Gideon. That's an out of Sinky. Land, ew. Not the best here. Oh, swing out. 
involved. Upon a trace like that goes one. It would be super close. Oh, and my land binding. Taking out our token. The awesome thing is I can dig for Titan, though. That is most unfortunate. Darn, and Pithing Needle. If they name Gideon here, we're clapped. Oh, Jesus. And what a turn from our opponent. Now they're back at six. We do find Ronus. Play it. And chain to the Cox. Yep, they have us. So close. One life. But we can't win them all. And now it's on the next match. Opening hand to getting the trials. We do have ramp. So we'll keep. Oh, it's a blue deck. Oh, we need nice. Oh, I care to pass. Oh, one passes. I really want to play the Gideon here. But the small one will have to do. The counter, sure. And what? They blow up our land? All right, sure. But it's actually for opponent. The Gideon. Make a token and pass. Opponent takes out our token. And passes. Play for us. Make a token. Play Gideon. Gideon hits. And blow for us. Play Ronus. Ronus hits will pass. They all up our land. Oh, and they exile Ronus. Oh, poor man, they might have Wandering Emperor. But Daddy has an idea that's thick like brick. Play Gideon. And made our other Gideon. Give it Vagilance. And it's out. And there's a seed. Going into game two, let's go all in a run. And that's going to go to. Opening hand, one last from Master Mole. Oh, and zero lands. Mole. And you know what? Sure, we'll keep it. And just pray for lands. That's not a land. Play well, Mystic and pass. There's a land. Play Heretic. Heretic hit. hits. Play Mystic. Mystic hits. Oh, so close. Grim is. When it attacks or blocks, it makes a token. Sure. But now it's on time. And who doesn't love a turn three thrun? A bubble's crossy cane hand. It passes. Not even so perfect. We'll play it. Land, sure. Just for five. The one takes it. And now play Gideon. Preventing damage. What's up, hard to do about that? A ball is crossy K. Buffing Burmas. And what? They swing. Making a 2 2. A block. What a strange match. Because now if they attack, they can just block. The only attack with run. Oh, and they start Gideon. Shoot with draw. They're so mean to us. Oh, wait. We have another. No pass. On the swings. All at Gideon. I suppose it's fine. But they do have a man land. Which can become a 7 7. An old fairy. On the draws. And another land. Oh my gosh. Swing into a fairy. Opponent hooks up three. They cycle. And there's a seventh land. Which means I can block now. So we'll take it again three. Opening hand's not bad. We'll keep. A second thrun. We'll take care to pass. Oh, one passes. We do have a second Gideon. We'll try for it. Upon counters. We just need to draw lands. Lanoir, oof. We just play Lanoir here. Or try for another Gideon. We'll take the risk and play Lanoir. And we'll pass. Opponent passes. Plays the land for daddy. Oh, perfect. Thrun time. A thrun from five isn't as exciting. Opponent makes a shark. And plays big fairy. Oh, but a land. And if they don't have counter here, our opponent could be in trouble. Ronus. They make a play two. But Ronus hits. We'll swing a fairy to fairy. The fairy survives at one. It will pass. The one digs. The one passes. Now this is kind of tricky. Our opponent might have wandering emperor. The so black way could help here. We'll try for it. The one counter, sir. We will swing. Our opponent takes it, loses the fairy. And now try for Gideon. They counter. Do they have board wipe here? No, temporary lockdown. That's fine. Eggs on our weenies. Oh, the fourth land. Nissa. But I think Nissa can wait. And it will vault. And push him for lethal. It's gotta be Wandering Emperor here. Oh, never mind. Opponent concedes. So there we have it. It's such a bizarre deck. It feels like a typical green white ramp deck. A bit inconsistent and dirty at times. However, throwing Defecation into the mix completely changed the deck. I mean, we were really close. One life away. And perhaps with a few changes, we can make the deck even better. Like Imagine Defecation with Liliana or Chandra. That'd be pretty sick. So let me know you big wish to the deck. And until next time, stay to me thick.